Hello everyone and welcome to a Mastermind Quick Tip. Today we'll be looking at making basic exception reports to help maintain your field data integrity. Uh, an exception report is basically a report that pulls your, your key important fields and eliminates everything in the report that's valid, that, that matches your lookups in Goldmine, but will show you everything else that's in your Goldmine that is not exactly what you want it to be. So to do this, we create a, a basic main contact report. I have one behind us, but just so you can see. So we're on the, uh, the main contacts in your create dialog here. And we're just going to click on the fields that are important to us. Typically, your, your key fields, in our instance, uh, MM partner is one, but account rep, product interest. Uh, just a, a few examples, source, status, these are important ones to us, so we'll use these as a uh, as a example here. But you'd go through, you'd make your report, hit finish, you know, save it, because you can use this report over and over again to uh, to check the, the status of your fields, make sure that they are, are staying where you want them to be, that they have the data that, that matches your lookups consistently, so you could look at them once a week, once a month, once a year, probably not the best option, but um, just to, to maintain your data quality. So I'm not going to hit finish here since I already have one. I'll hit cancel and flip over to this. Uh, so once I've created the report, I've actually gone and um, oh, I pulled up the report I already had created. And it's just, like I said, a basic main contact report and what you're going to do is basically look at your fields one at a time. Uh, you can actually copy this pivot table. I'll just copy it and paste it over here. And you can do this multiple times. And you can have different key fields in each one. So in the, our first one, we had contact type. And I just dragged it out of our second one. But this uh, second one, we might want status in here. So we can see uh, all of the different fields that we want to look at at once. But in order to do this, and I've, I've pre-done it just to save time for the quick tip, is on your drop down here, you want to uncheck everything that has a valid entry. Everything that is part of your lookups, you want to exclude from, from showing on this. And then when you come back to these reports time and time again, once it's cleaned up, you can always uh, when it refreshes, it's going to pull in anything that does not match um, what's in your lookups. Basically, it's unchecked if it's valid. So if it's showing up on this report, something's off. It could be just a misspelling. It could be somebody uh, imported data in the wrong way, uh, like this ISV that should be in a completely different field, and we need to update our contact type to uh, actually show end users, different things like that. It's, it's, there's so many different ways that uh, field data can be entered in wrong. Usually it's user error or import errors. But um, once you eliminate all of those uh, valid entries, you're stuck with this list here that is going to show you everything that's incorrect. And you can take these in, in sections. So is Carlos Gomez one at a time, or since there's only four of these, I might do those. Um, or you can use Updater to do it all at once. But let me go ahead and double click on our grand in total. So you can take this, you can do a quick snapshot to send to one of your employees um, to clean up, or you can divide these out by account rep. You see that we have them here and take a snapshot and send it to them to fix these records. Or you can do it if you know offhand, like these ISVs should be end users. You can turn around and use MM Updater if you have that to quickly go and make the change. Recommend Updater. It's a lot faster. And if you're working on reports that are dealing exception reports that are looking at activity codes or result codes that aren't used anymore or put in incorrectly, 
same same kind of concept except using history or a pending report. You can uh, you'd really want an updater for that since there's no easy way to make that happen in Goldmine to make those changes. But that is it for exception reports. We recommend doing it. Um, you know, if if you don't want to do it once a week, once a month, or once a quarter, much better than once a year. But uh, as long as you you're doing it at a somewhat consistent basis to help keep your data where it needs to be for people to use it effectively, um, these are a great way to go. With that, I'll catch you around next quick tip. Bye.